What's going on people, it's me again, Mr. Midas, and welcome to another episode of Too Many Games and Not Enough Time. Now today I have someone who's generally my friend. You get me? I don't dash out that friendship line like too, too much. I don't dash out that my brother line too much. This is my brother. But he is an extraordinarily talented individual. He is an actor. We're talking the good lie. We're talking adulthood. We're talking Grange Hill fam from back then. You get me? When he had no tea. When he had no tea. He is a rapper and he's a gamer too. Some of you might know him by the name of Snakey Man, but to his friends, we call him Arnold. Arnold Ochen, what is going? Welcome to Too Many Games and Not Enough Time. How you Bro, doing, my brother? You've got the best intros. You have got the best intros. They gas <laughs> one up so good, bro. They just make my food good, I'm telling you. It's important, fam. It's important. Like, you've had an amazing career. Um, the whole reason I started Too Many Games and Not Enough Time is, as a gamer, we always complain. So much games, but man ain't got not enough time to play. And um, I've been really blessed that I've been able to talk to, like, I've just done something with a developer. I got to talk to people like Noel Clark. Um, I've been able to talk to a lot of people. So we've known each other for years, from the music days, from Too being long, in bro. Bricky, like just going to events together like there's very few people who don't know me who don't know you like together in it because we yeah, like, true, we've been true. dons from day one so way back really on a human level my brother how mm -hmm. are you dealing with quarantine how's it treating you man bro it's mad still i can't even lie bro it's like i just wanted to end now brother man it's like it's dragging on it's dragging on i'm like i'm like, it's almost like I'm running out of things to do. I'm, and me and you, like, we're creatives, bro. Like, and I'm trying to, like, I've I've written about two scripts. Yeah, That's since dope. I've been, it's nice, like, dope. But it's like, like, what's next? Like, you wanna you wanna put it into action. You wanna put things into motion, or else they're just gonna stick, stay there and stack up. It's like music, bro. Remember when you keep going to studio, you keep going to studio. You're making a tune, and then you you you're, walk, you're working towards releasing an EP or a mixtape. But every time you make a tune. You go back and listen to it. You think you can go harder, and then you just the, the project never gets finished. If you understand what I'm saying, so I'm at that I'm at that point where I just wanna just wanna release stuff and start doing stuff. You know. I see you got the baseball cap on. <laughs> I see you got the do rag on. <laughs> it's, it's peak, fam. It's political but, peak. Bro, what have you seen? It's political, but you've been I've doing the little. I've never seen your thing. I've never seen your thing big like that, bro. You're yeah, that's like what I'm saying. Canyon. You're looking like a musketeer <laughs> or a Jamaican musketeer with the do rag. <laughs> It's real, it's real. So, a lot of people might not know, but you are very family orientated. So you yeah, have man. an incredible relationship with your little brother, and you've got yeah, a beautiful man. relationship with your mum. How's it been not seeing them? It's been really hard, you know. I've been um, I've been staying at my girls, so pick up my girl anyway. But, you know, it makes me think about other people as well, in a sense where, but if you imagine you live on your own, or you haven't got a partner, or you just not you don't live with your siblings, or you don't live with anybody, bro. In this isolation situation, bro, you'd be going crazy, be bored. And I'm just grateful that that I'm able to to isolate with with with, with my partner. And 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 going back to your question about me being family ori orientated, it's been really hard, bro. Because now like, my mum's my heart in it. Like my mum is someone I see every day and. And I haven't had a hug from man. I haven't hugged my mum in time, bruv. Do you know what I mean? Like, just go there, drop food. But when I drop food, it's literally like dropping food at the door. And then you got a cut. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're talking over the patio. And it, it, it's hard, bruv. It's, 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 a lot of it's a lot of adjustment. But it's got to be done, innit, bro? It's got to be done, man. To be safe, innit? Yeah, of course. That's the most important thing, and it is is her safety as well. That's 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 exactly. the reason of why you're you're keeping yourself away. But before yeah. we get too deep on them, yeah, me and go down that rabbit yeah. hole. Too many games. It's all about video games. Now, people might not know, but you are a gamer from what day? I'm a gamer, bro. I'm a gamer, bro. I've been from gaming from a long time, bro. I'm telling Streets of Rage, bro. Axel and them man, they golden axe, bro. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, I'm a gamer, bro. Yeah, I'm telling you. This is why, like, when I created GGR, like, you know, you was there from the beginning because we're mm. friends. You knew before when it was still an idea in man's head and I was coming to you for, like, advice. And, and that I did numbers, bro. Well done how, on that, bro. 
how I should approach it is because people like me and you who were just so, even though we were so into music back then and that was our careers, we were still banging games. Like I remember every Christmas I'd be banging games, like we'd be talking about mm. all different games and it's been part of our life for a long time. But mm. because we're so career driven and we are really busy, it made being able to game difficult like for me it's easier now because i work in gaming and i no longer do music and that's my mm. career path but as a gamer there's bare games and you don't get enough time to play them bare but, games but as you said you're in quarantine and you have some time putting your blood clot on what yeah. are you playing right now what's taking up your time fam bro do you know what go ahead, let me just go back to what you said there because it's mad what you said bro like you know being a musician and and, and acting and all those kind of things yeah like we didn't have a lot of time to play games, but man was still banging games. But man would go be doing tours, man would go be doing events, man would be filming, but then man would go home and bang games. Now for me, for me, yeah, it was crazy because the more man started to get known, like in the industry, I'd be just be tweeting about games and just you know how we are, we just chat about games. You get what I'm saying? Then certain companies would see that and hit you up and then invite you to events and like the FIFA, FIFA event or the Call of Duty event or like when you brought me to the Mortal Kombat event. I wouldn't say I lost my gaming love but that just made gaming easier for me because you got to take time out to go shop buy it or you know but this I was going to events and I was just getting the, the love for gaming again bro. Do you know what I mean? Yeah so, we but I think every single gamer goes for a time where they don't game as much like because mm. like, even me there was a time where i'd game but i wasn't banging it like i am now and then i think my discovery like falling back in love with gaming is because my little brother because my brother is even more game crazy than me and taking is he more that. than you yeah well he's studying game development in university fam he's oh, doing his go, masters <laughs> he's, he's making it, games fam <laughs> i can't talk to him and man they're making games fam um, and me taking him to like egx and that really drew me back into gaming but come on tell me what you've been playing fam what you've been playing do you know what bruv don't you know don't laugh or nothing like that yeah i got the game here yeah (laughs) bro do you know what i've been hearing so much about this game here i even spoke to you about this game because what people don't know is like i'm not ashamed to buy games yeah i'll be like i'll get them free or whatever but i'll buy them as well if i like something i like something yeah i but midas is the person i call when i'm in the game (laughs) when i'm in the game shop i'll be like what game should i get so game number one, yeah, the Last of Us, yeah. The Last of Us, fam. The Last of Us, yeah. Now, the game's a bit slow for me, bro. Yeah. Right. So let's 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 break this down for it, because when I told you played, how long ago did you play the Last of Us? I'm, st- you know, I'm still currently on it because I haven't finished right. it. So just uh, to break, just to be clear, so this is a remastered. So it originally came out on a PS3. So it was like the last when the PS3 yeah. was basically going out. It was the last mm-hmm. game, and then they remastered it. They remastered the PS4, it. and they and they polished it. Now the reason why I told you to play that game is because that game is one of the first games that defined the genre of making games specifically for adults. That there's nothing about that game that's for children. Like you, like when you play the first ten minutes. Oh, what, okay. So what about games like Silent Hill? Well, the Silent Hill, for yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. But the reason why I say that is, I, all right, that's because it's horror. That's why it's for adults. I mean, just for the the narrative reason behind it. Like that okay. game is all about a narrative, and you being an actor, you know, narrative is everything to 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 no, 100%. To, to lore. And that game really gave a narrative that, like, huge spoilers to anyone who ain't played. But if you ain't played, you're an idiot. It's too long now. <laughs> Um, no, listen, I've, I've, I've got time. I've got yeah. time. I'm no, 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 right at the beginning, right at the beginning. When, like, you play for literally 10 minutes and then they kill his daughter, fam. Bruv. And they, you're like, Bruv. What do you mean? What How are you just mean? murking the little girl? So <laughs> like, I've been playing for 10 minutes. Bruv. It's mad. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Bruv, I, but I'm still yet to finish that one as well. But it's definitely a slow paced game, yeah. It's not like a lot of people don't like it because it feels sluggish. But I think it's because that's what it is. It's meant to just be a normal guy. He ain't a superhero. He's not Batman. He's not Spider Man. Do you know what's slower than that, though? Going into my second game that I'm playing at the moment. Go ahead. Uh, 
what's it, Miss? What is it called? Um, the one on the bike, the one you told me to buy as well. Oh again. no, I didn't tell you to buy Days Gone. You don't did, try did, it. Did, I didn't. Did. I don't even like Days Gone. Don't get you got that, and then you told me, and you told me you didn't like it, and I told you I don't. I'll like be it. real. I got it because you had it. I knew yeah. you had it. Yeah, you saw I it on my what? PS thing. You ain't gonna like get it. no rubbish game. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like so I thought, let me get that. But I didn't like it at all, bro. It's too slow. Um, um, even like the the the. The, the motorbike as well. It doesn't drive. It's, it's not fluid as well with its with its gameplay. I don't. I don't personally feel like because I'm a fan of like zombie and horror films like Walking Dead and all those kind of films. So, so when I saw the the trailer, I was like, woof, yeah, 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 yeah. But then when I started playing it, it's just slow. It takes time to build up, and I'm gonna complete it because I've got time on my hands and I really want to see how it ends out and, and, and how it pans out. But really and truthfully, if I was to give it out of ten so far. Bro, probably I'll give it a six at the moment. Yeah, Maybe I was. Five, yeah, I was really disappointed, and and like the game sold really well in the UK. It's weird. So globally, like in the states, it hasn't done great, but over here, it was like got like number one in charts and stuff. So you'd probably if you That's go into a I game saw, store, yeah. you'll see it in like number one charts and stuff. But the game's got so like the protagonist is dead. I don't even like the main character. The, <laughs> Why? the Why? bike, the bike mechanics is dead. The the only thing I like about it is the hordes, like the loads of zombies. But I tell you what, re I tell you why I stopped playing the game. Like, there's a scene right where you're on a bike and my man's just shouting for no reason, and I'm like, why is the sound so off? And then there's a cut scene, and then he's riding the bike just in a normal game, but you can't do it. You just gotta watch it, and then you go in to do a fight. And then literally the fight lasts for two minutes. You broke up the person, but then a cutscene comes and then you've been beaten up. And I'm like, huh? And then you I, come I, off I, that cutscene and then you can't do anything again. You just got to watch it ride the bike for how long. And then it goes back to him on his bike shouting. I was like, I'm done. Yeah, the cutscenes are too... The, 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 sometimes the story scenes are too long. Yeah, and, and I felt... Tell me if you felt... Tell me if you got this, yeah? What's that game? Uh, 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 same people that make... Um, Grand Theft Auto, but they made the Western one. Um, Red Dead Redemption. Okay, Red Dead Redemption. Rockstar. This is this is this is what I this is how I felt playing playing both games. I felt similar in a sense. Yeah, for one, um, I just found it boring. The 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 way they transit, basically the way they transit. I find it I found it boring. But like basically, in Red Dead Redemption, yeah, I get it. Like there's no cars and whatnot, so they they they're on their horses and whatnot, but. For the length you've got to ride, it was just getting tedious and boring while while going from mission to mission. And I felt the same with with that one with the with the, with the game gone. of the mob. I yeah. felt the same with Days Gone, bro. Like, yeah, you do your mission, but then when you got to jump on the bike, like it's just long, bro. Especially if they're having their conversations with the other guy on the motorbike, and it just I don't know, it just felt like I it think, was dragging for me. I, I think the difference between like Red Dead is a masterpiece. It's an it's an incredible piece of art it as is. a video game. It's not the most exciting. It can have very boring moments. Playability. But it, yeah, but it's got it's got it's an amazing piece of art. The thing that with Red Dead is you have to play at its pace. Like you can't come off GTA and then go and play Red Dead. When you yeah, play no, Red no, Dead, wait. you gotta slow down. You gotta take your time. Like you gotta live like you're back in them days. Like yeah. when I when I clock that is in Red Dead, there's there's a mission right at the beginning where your will comes off your um your little thing you know when um, you move um, I know it. yeah yeah and then you <laughs> and you gotta wheel it over the wagon. and then you got and then you got wagon yeah and then you gotta screw it on bit by bit and then you gotta lick it with the hammer i'm like why is this taking so long but if you lived in those days that's it how long it would yeah yeah and they want it to feel authentic they want you to feel like you was living back there where that's that's a gameplay choice so rockstar have decided they want the game to be slow so if you don't like a slow game you're not going to enjoy it the thing with days gone is i feel like they was trying to emulate what because playstation first party games are so like they bang like the yeah, last of us spider-man like um, don't even talk about spider-man that there is one of the best games to me yeah like <laughs> one of them god of war like <laughs> yeah, I know you're gonna lose your mind <laughs> when we talk about going to war. Um, but I feel like it had all of the pressure to do everything that all of the other games was doing, and it just didn't deliver. And it's unfortunate because the 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 thought process behind the game was exciting, but the game itself wasn't. Nothing. Didn't really. I know, just just kind of didn't really. All right, come on, tell me the last one that you're playing at the moment. Uh, Final Fantasy VII. 
Final Fantasy VII Remake. Final, the remake, yeah. How, listen, much, how, long, up, how long have I been gassing up, to you about this game? Bro, you've been gassing to me about this game for years. But listen, no, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait. I gotta give myself some credit, bro. I was playing this game when it was on PlayStation, yeah. When you, when it had the the thick case, the thick <laughs> case, where you gotta open it. It's got CD one, open it CD two, four open discs. It three, yeah, the original. Four discs. Yeah. But I heard, hey Midas, tell me if this is true. I heard, yeah. See with this Final Fantasy VII, because obviously I opened it up. It's one disc in it. Yeah. Obviously things don't need to be bad. Actually, no, it's two. Sorry. It's two discs. Sorry. It's two discs. Yeah. One data disc and then one actual yeah. game disc. Yeah. I heard, I don't know if this is true, are they going to... Re- so basically, yes. this is yes. just disc one. So, basically. no, 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 it's not even just disc one. This is basically Midgar, which is the main first section mm. of the game, which is about five to... Depending on how long you play, but it's about five to ten hours in the original Final Fantasy. They've turned just the Midgar area into a whole game. So, so Final Fantasy VII Remake is about... 35 to 40 hours long so it's a full game so they've made a full game just in that section so the final fantasy story is going to be in parts basically oh okay okay, so okay. So we're going to get more yeah. yeah but is it remake still or is it is it still part of the seven series yeah yeah okay okay so okay. come on talk to me about this game because i've been gassing about it listen been... bad yeah, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Listen, it just brings, it's so much nostalgia, bro. And thank you for busting this busting this game again to me because when I'm playing it, bro, it just brings back everything. I'm, I remember Cloud, even though they gave Cloud too, too, too muscle and whatnot. I remember Cloud, I remember the abilities and what they've done in the game this time, bro, is sick, bro. They, they, they've taken out the, the way they fight. Um, what's it called again, Midas? So, the, so they've, they've removed it from being turn-based and now turn-based. it's real time. Bro, I used to hate the turn-based, but this game made me like it. This was yeah. one of the first games that made me like turn-based um, fighting. Even yeah. when I started playing on Pokemon, and this yeah. is one of the first games that made me start liking it. So when they took it out, I was a bit weary. But playing it, bro, it's like man just playing like what, what can my compare to? Fam, just tell me, just, tell me how sick the fighting is when the music's in the background hyping bro. me and you're just slicing <laughs> up, man. Bro, and you slow down to do two magic. Mad, mad, and I like that. I bro, I love the I love the playability of it. I love the way you can cross. Um, basically, you could you could let your brethren jump in and start yeah. shooting up. You could tell him what abilities to use. You could tell him what. Bro, it's bad. It's bad. It's yeah. bad. It's bad. And it's tell bad, me the cutscenes are not crazy. Like the That's visuals. The like like the visuals. Like when you see Aerith and 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 it comes down from Migga and she's just looking in her eyes and her eyes are all green. You're just like, oh my god! Oh, they make the look so good. Truth is, yeah, if you remember, bro, yeah, like Square Enix, they, they've always like been dons when it comes to like cutaway scenes, bro, like and, and, and action sequences. And the good thing with this year, bro, some of the some of the cutaway scenes are you can't really tell the difference between the actual fighting scenes, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, the, it's the same, bro. Yeah, they've they've upped the quality. I don't even know how they've made the PS4. Like, it looks like a PS5 game. Yeah, they they put the it, it come like they made the power stronger for something for yeah, this game or something. It's, yeah, it's mad. I I'm gonna let you gas about it a bit because I know it's your favorite PS4 game, God of War. God of War. <laughs> <laughs> Listen. So you so you called me and said to me, "Bro, what game should I buy?" And I was like, oh, "Have you played God of War yet?" You're like, "What's this?" And I'm like, "Fam, get it. Tell me about God of War." Let me just tell you now, bro. God of War. How many how many God of War games have they had, bro? Is it five? I don't even know. I think I think this might be the fifth. All oh, right. So it's been going on from. What's the first console it started on? Only reason I'm saying that because I've seen God of War for years. Like I've been a game. I've seen it like just about yeah. And I've always just looked at it like, well, that's like that looks like a PC game. It looks like one of them. I don't know. It just didn't look like what it was. Yeah. And then then yeah, bro. Like I rang you when I was at game. I said, what what game should I get? You said God of War. And bro, literally for me, for me. For me, best game, best PlayStation game ever, bro. It's got everything, yeah? I'm talking the cut sequences, the fighting, the weapons. Bro, like, it's so gruesome, yeah? The way, ah, oh, listen. Kratos is a bad man, isn't it? Kratos is he's a, he's a bad man, yeah? Even when he, even the one where he's got his son as well, bro. The way they incorporate the son fighting with him, bro, it's bad. It's bad. It tells a whole story about the Greek gods and, ah, oh, man. 
And oh, tell me you didn't feel like four when he just went whoosh, and he caught his. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> I wasn't even going to say that, uh, bro. When he caught the hammer, bro. Yeah. Stop it, bro. And he's got to kill his dad. Like, is that his dad? Yeah. But what? Here's one thing I didn't understand, mighty. Yeah. So just before we think, so the original came out on a PlayStation 2 on March 22nd, 2005. So the first one was a PlayStation 2 game. Okay, PlayStation 2 game. But yeah. what I didn't understand is, yeah, or maybe I'm just getting confused by it. So he was never, Kratos, he, he's the son of Zeus, right? Yeah, so basically it started in... Um, I think it's starting in Greek mythology and then now the remake is in North mythology, if I'm correct. I don't know, bro. I don't yeah. know, bro. Yeah, yeah. So, no, but the game's cold, fam. The game but, yeah. is, is would cold. You say, would you say that's your best game? No. Or would you so say Final Fantasy is? Final Fantasy. Fam. But before look, this Final Fantasy, look, you were, look, saying, look, game, you, you were saying God of War. You were look. saying God of War. Oh, oh shit! Man's got the cloud on the bike. Oh, bro, fam. I think before Final Fantasy, I always said I thought God of War was the best game on the PlayStation. Yeah, you did say that. And then I said Spider Man was the most fun. I agree with both games. Yeah, right? but now Final Fantasy VII remake, fam. For me, like remember, you got a wall. I, remember I'm a JRPG guy, fam. That's yeah, my yeah, my yeah, favorite yeah. genre is JRPGs, yeah, and then yeah. Cloud, like Link from Zelda and Cloud are my favorite characters ever, fam. Like to have Cloud be just so cold, but God of War is probably one of the. I thought The Last of Us was the one of the best video game pieces of art that I ever played. And God for of me, War. God of War took it to another level. But then I feel like games like God of War would never... The, and when I mean God of War, I'm talking about the reboot, the new God of War. Would I don't feel like existed. those games would have existed without uh, The Last of Us. That kind of narrative, like to be able to have your... Like even them introducing his youth to be there and stuff like that to make him more human because yeah. in the old God of Wars he was just bad he was just a bad man like the old mm. God of Wars he was biting people beating gear like bare mad things he was doing fam. Oh, where, bro, where in his new are you, are you, are you, wait 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 are you talking about the bit where you got to press the buttons yeah to make the girl orgasm yeah, <laughs> yeah it's mad fam where they they made him so much more grounded they almost tried to humanize him. But still keep that 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 power, fam, and that mm -hmm. that that narrative is it incredible. Works, bro. Yeah, it works. So Especially it's... now we're getting older, bro. You know, now we're getting older, bro. This I'm looking for. I'm looking for different things in games, bro. So, like, for instance, I'm looking for a connection. I know it sounds mad, but sometimes I'm looking for a connection and and something to make me feel like, oh, do you know, what? I can relate to that. But do you, you know, know why I mean? it's not mad? Because you look for that in films, fam. When you watch movies, your whole life, yeah. like you, you never, like for example, like when we was younger, we'd we'd love kung fu movies because of the fighting. The fighting in mm. kung fu mm. movies is sick, and then you're like an action movie because of the all of the big explosions and explosions. But the films that really touch you, the films that that people probably talk to you about that you've been in and always come back to you about is the ones that connected with them, the character, like like what you did in The Good Light, like you connected mm. with them in on on a level that oh. that that a narrative nothing else can do. Yeah, and I think yeah. video games that. are doing that same thing. Same thing, yeah, yeah, you're true, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, yeah, right. Broski. All right, Boy, so fine. we're both in quarantine. Um, I've got bare time on my hand as well. What game do you recommend I should play? I already know what you're gonna say. I'm surprised you... you've been you've been on me to come to the gulag, fam. Oh, <laughs> you've been on what, me to come. Duty? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> bro, you don't want it. I've been calling you for how long? Every but time you've been playing other games. Yeah, I've and and the thing is the difference as well is I work in games. So I got to review games, I got to finish <laughs> games. I'm trying to platinum Final Fantasy, and this guy's forever. But he's like, oh, you don't want it. I'm getting mad as well because I'm like, I do, but let me just finish this right now. I hear you, bro. Alright, bro. After this interview, we can go one quick game, corn bullet, everything. We can do it, bro. I'm telling you. 
I've got another one. Well, I've got one with Jay Ann, and then after that, we'll do one. All right, so, all right, listen, it's recorded. It's recorded. Everyone can hear it. It's going to happen. I've been yeah. chasing him for a clean year, so we're going to see if it Man comes said out. A today. clean year. I need to make <laughs> sure I've even got Warzone downloaded. Um, oh, bro, download it because it takes a while still. Yeah, it takes a while. It takes hours, fam. It's mad. You, bro, do you know how long Final Fantasy took me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these new games is a madness, fam. Like, from my, um, in my PlayStation, I obviously, because I get so much games, I, had to, I put a two terabyte hard drive in there, fam. We've all complained about our backlogs. We've got bad games to play so yeah. much. What game from the backlog do you want to go back to and play while you're in quarantine? Mm. Do you know what I never got to finish? The last Metal Gear Solid, you know? Oh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is, wait, is that the one where like he goes to different terrains? Like he's in a jungle, he's in a desert and... Yeah. That's yeah, the one. That's, that's the one with that. Quiet, the girl who's all... <laughs> Sexy quiet, you know. Yeah, yeah, quiet. <laughs> don't play about. So it's weird because I really, really love Metal Gear Solid Five. I think it's I'm a man. You know me. I'm about story. That's what mm. draws me. The story, story draws fact. me, and then everything else draws me after. But I don't think the story in that game is that great. I think you don't, you don't. I think it's the shooting mechanics that are so cold. I think like. Like Kojima went so sick on it. Like when you have to go, when you have to go to account and you're like, alright, cool, I gotta take out these kind, these certain man um, stealth. So I'm gonna lay them man there over there, and then you run in, and you get a man, and you throw him on a parachute, and he pops out, and then you. Sick, yeah. Um, it's mad. It's yeah. It's more. It's more the fighting, but I've always loved Metal Gear Solid for his storylines. Because let's be real, bro. The storylines has always been cold. I'm talking like from like like. Solid Snake, like uh, Revolver Ocelot, all them, yeah. like how they. Well, that's what I mean. Soul. Like this is probably the weakest out of, because Metal Gear Solid is all about stories, and this yeah. has probably got the least amount of story. But this is because, like, um, this is when um, Kojima was basically getting pushed out of Konami, so he was yeah. having bare drama. He was on his way and, out, yeah. Yeah, and they was getting rid of him, and they, I think, because you can tell. The reason, the thing that's so jarring about this game is you play the first half of the game and it's sick, and then the second half of the game you got to redo. No, you got to redo all the same missions, but just yes! in a harder difficulty. And I was like, uh, "What do you mean? Like, like why?" I think that's I why I stopped. That's why I stopped. That's lazy. That's lazy. Yeah, also, like, you never I, completed it either. No, when I went, fam, when I had to go and do do quiet again, I'm like, I've already got her. She's that's here with that. me. Yeah, 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 How am yeah, I going to catch her again? Me. So yeah, that's why I stopped on that me. one. But do you think do you think this one was better? Because I never got to play the other one. You, what's the other? There was another Mega Solid where it was about it was about the guy with the, oh, that with was the swords. Dead, that was dead. See that one, that one there. It looked sick, but I never got to yeah. play it, innit? Yeah, it's dead. It was dead. You, I, you I tell you, you need to play that a flipping um, thing. You is near Autonoma, fam. If you want to play I, something with swords, fam. No, I started playing it, but it. it Here's the word, and I hope you'll understand. It it got a bit repetitive. Oh yeah, they were. Well, yeah, it, yeah. It does have a repetitive loop. But every game is a repetitive loop. But it's about. But not like that. You know what I mean? With it's that about. Game it's about if your brain feels like it's repetitive. If it feels like it's repetitive, it's dead. It doesn't work because it's cod repetitive. You're just running around shooting people. It's the same thing over and over again. Where it just doesn't feel that way. Where we're. But it's there, different because you probably, you're playing different. You're, you're playing your bridge, so it's different yeah. characters. But there's people yeah. behind it. You get me? Yeah. Nair Signal is a sick title. All right, before I let you leave me today, like mm -hmm. I said, you're an accomplished actor. Like, you have been doing this thing for a long time. You've been in huge Hollywood movies. You've supported some of the biggest films in the UK. What advice would you give to someone who comes from the kind of same environments that we come from they don't have no huge resources they don't have like huge contacts what's the best way for them to really want to kind of push their career and kind of get onto that ladder of being able to be the next big actor mm. just um <clears throat> do your research you get me i get everybody i get a lot of people always asking me saying they want to do this acting thing this acting thing like and asking me questions and I'm, I'm i'm you know through social media and through like 
in this lockdown, I'm available for people to chat to. I just want people to know that and ask any questions. But the best way to get involved, literally, is just to um, do your research. Just go online, talk to people, find out about agents, find out about open open auditions, find out about open casting, find out about um, places where you can go uh, where you can go watch theatre. Find out about scripts. If you're interested in script writing, like now's the best time to maybe find some online script writing courses. They, now is your time to just get into get into any industry you want to try and get into and learn about it before you do because when me and i can speak for both of us obviously when we was coming up i didn't really have no one to ask or or any direction for of of, of, of where to go to follow our dream do you know what i mean just had to do but it just had to do it so i think if you really love something and if you're really passionate about it, you would do it bro and that's how it came that's how it came with the gaming for you as well bro that's like that's how it should come if it's passionate for you bro you'll be interested in it and you'd want to follow it up and do research and find out about it. Do you know what I mean? Be well informed. Yeah, You're well, right. thank you so much for joining me uh, on Too Many Anytime. Games. This has been the longest episode, but I knew it was because obviously we go back no, and we can, we can <laughs> chat. Um, where can the people find you and what do you want them to look out for? Yeah, man. Um, just hit me up on the socials. Uh, just Arnold Cheng on all of them. Um, and to look out for... Uh, I had some stuff come. I had some stuff coming out, um, but obviously, what's going on? So things are on the hold. So I don't want to say things without dates and stuff. But yeah, just you'll see him in about soon. You'll see him. Well, he's been Arnold O. Cheng. I've been Mr. Midas. Make sure you go in the comments. All right, come on, tell us what is the best PS4 title? Are we talking FF7 remake? Are we talking Spider-Man? Are we talking GTA? Are we talking God of War? red dead you tell us what you think is the best and thank you so much for spending your time with us on another episode of too many games make sure you like and make sure you subscribe respect my brother say nothing cuz love